Hi, I'm Eric Schumacher Rasmussen, editor of Streaming Media Magazine here at the Streaming Media East Conference in New York City. And I'm speaking with Mario Stilianhu, and he's the Director of Solutions for Invivio. Mario, welcome. Thank you, glad to be here. Tell us about Invivio's uh, software approach and how it's beneficial to operators. Sure, all, all of our products are, are, are uh, software, uh, based on software technology, um, which gives quite a bit of flexibility to the operator. Uh, a lot of the different operators across the different segments are looking for flexibility when it comes to adding new channels or adding functionality to their, to their uh, platform. So uh, having a solution that, that is based on, on software allows them uh, that flexibility and allows us to be able to react to any new formats or standards that, that, that are introduced into the market. HEVC is one example. Um, we, you know, when HEVC was introduced at the beginning of the year or finalized, uh, we were able to add it to our product and, and, be, and were able to demonstrate it fairly quickly. So uh, just, that's just an example to show you know, how a flexible platform can support the growing needs of, a, of, of an operator. Now, obviously, there's a lot of talk about HEVC. It was certainly the buzz at NAB this year. Sure. Um, and you mentioned that you've already built in support. Uh, what is Invivio's take on, on what the road to HEVC adoption is going to be like? Are we going to start seeing adoption fairly soon? And if so, what's going to be driving that? Our view is that HEVC is going to materialize first uh, on the, on the multi-screen uh, domain. Uh, there's certainly space for HEVC in broadcast as well, but that's we're going to have to wait for, for silicon to be ready to go into setup boxes and the whole you know, workflow to be in place. So um, our view is that HEVC is materializing first in multi-screen. Uh, we're actually already uh, engaging with customers, with potential customers, to you know, discussing this potential and how to deploy it. So HEVC, you know, it's, it's, it's very exciting, uh, as you know, in terms of, of, of bandwidth saving, CDN cost saving, etc. So. Um, the first step would be in, in the multi-screen domain, and then from there we'll go into broadcast you know, within next year. What about formats that, that have been around for much longer, such as MPEG-2? Yeah. Uh, have there been any new developments, or do you see any new developments in MPEG-2 applications? Our experience shows that a lot of, a lot of uh, the service operators or, or, or the, or the you know, content providers in, in, uh, in North America are looking to squeeze a little bit more out of MPEG-2 uh, still. So um, in terms of codec and, 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 and technology, there hasn't been too much uh, um, you know, on the codec itself. However, uh, there is, and we are one example, uh, there is quite a bit of, uh, of push to fit even more channels. For example, in a, in a, uh, in a QAM, um, you know, cable QAM mm -hmm. uh, bandwidth, uh, so far people have been able to do three or four HDs per QAM. Uh, now there's a push to, do, to go beyond that and do five or six. Let's get away from uh, Codex for a minute yeah. and talk a little bit about Invivio's TV Anytime efforts. Can you tell us what you're doing in, in the realm of, uh, of time shifting and multi-screen delivery and, and what you kind of call your TV Anytime sure. uh, approach? Yeah, so uh, we, have a, we have a product called Halo, which is our mm -hmm. network media processor. Uh, Halo essentially supports all these workflows. The way TV is, con is consumed today is, is certainly changing, so people uh, not only uh, um, consume TV in front of, of TV, but they also consume TV on any device at any time. So uh, with, that, with, that, uh, with that happening, we, we developed a product um, to, to kind of fill that niche and be able to support these different workflows. So Halo, uh, as a product, can support the different anytime consumption mm -hmm. of, of TV, uh, either through a, a catch-up TV mechanism or a network DVR or a network PVR. There's quite a bit of demand for, for that workflow, as well as start over TV. It's not only on main screen anymore, but it's essentially on, a, on any device. So we've, we've developed technology basically to enable the service provider or the content owner to be able to support these workflows. What about ad insertion? Obviously, yep. if people are uh, <coughs> consuming the content, are watching programs on multiple devices, they're using uh, network DVRs and PVRs or, or catch-up services, yep. uh, advertisers want to be able to monetize, and, sure. and the content owners need to be able to monetize yep. every view they possibly can. What's Invi Invivio doing in that regard? So uh, actually, ad insertion fits uh, very well with, with, with Anytime TV uh, as, a, as a use case. Ad insertion allows, again, as you, as you mentioned, the operator to monetize some of the invest investment they've made in, in multi-screen. 
uh, for example, but it also allows them to, uh, to well, it, it enables, uh, we, we can enable ad insertion for, for, for the rest of the, of the chain. So, so far, mm -hmm. ad, insertion, ad insertion has been happening either with pre-roll ads in the streaming, streaming media world or with ads in, in broadcast television. Uh, what we enable people to do now is target ads, uh, not only on a per channel or per, or per half hour basis, but we can target ads on a per user basis. So uh, we've introduced uh, a product at, at NAB, um, and which also won the uh, NAB award called Halo Experience. Uh, this product essentially enables this targetization of ads to the per user, uh, which is which is very unique because now you you we 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 already customize the stream that reaches the the, u the user, so the user is receiving a unique stream that is very specific to him, and now we can enable uh, ad insertion based on that uh, to that user, uh, you know, within that stream. So it's it's very unique and very very powerful for the service provider and the content owner. Yeah, absolutely. And as you mentioned, streaming media did. Uh, did give uh, the Halo Experience one of our Best of NAB awards this year, and that was one of the reasons. What are some other features that the Halo Experience offers uh, that differentiate it from perhaps other solutions out there? Yeah, so I mean, uh, its capacity, uh, it, can, it can manage uh, thousands of, of users. Uh, it can do what we call in the industry manifest manipulation, which is, is essentially, it can pick different um, pieces of content and kind of target it to a, to a specific stream. Uh, that's kind of its core. Uh, mm -hmm. Functionality uh, that that that, which is fairly unique and, and uh, in the industry so far. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Mario. Okay. Thank you. Speaking uh, nice with Invivio. For more, you can go to www.invivio.com. Uh, signing off here from Streaming Media East.